Hello everybody and welcome back to another Destiny 2 Seal Guide. This is the Seal Guide for Destiny 2's brand new expansion, Lightfall, starting with the brand new Lightfall Seal. If you're interested in seeing more Destiny 2 guides in the future, make sure to hit the subscribe button and stay tuned because I've got a lot of these that I will be planning to do throughout this year. Starting off, Neo Mooney Souvenirs. This is to get all of the trophies in Neo Muna. So if you come over to your collections page here in your inventory, you go over to the Neo Mooney Souvenirs badge. Click on this and you need to get everything in this badge in order to unlock this triumph. Now keep in mind this doesn't mean you have to get all the Titan and Hunter gear if you're a Warlock. You just have to get everything that's on your Warlock page. You can skip these other two. Just focus on what's here. Starting first, we've got the foremost Vimana. I'm going to go through these really fast and not explain everything right away because it's something I'll do later on. Foremost Vimana. You get this ship from obtaining a triumph score of 1400 or more on Neo Muna. Complete triumphs, and then eventually you'll unlock the Neo Muna Sightseeing Triumph, which you claim, and it gives you this ship. The Scintillant Trajectory Shader. This one's found by exploring Neo Muna according to this page. Well, that's not exactly the case. In order to unlock the Scintillant Trajectory Shader, you have to go and upgrade your reputation rank for Nimbus to rank 24. Sanctuary of Nefele. This emblem is unlocked by completing the legendary campaign for Lightfall. Terminal Circuit. This is completed by finishing another triumph that I'll get into later on that has to do with the new mode called Terminal Overload. Thunderhead Cover, Gloves, Robes, Boots, and the Bond. All of these armor sets can be obtained by ranking up rewards with Nimbus in Neomuna. Winter Bite. This is unlockable from an exotic quest line that you can find over near the memorials in the Hall of Heroes. Go and talk to the Archivist and she will have quests for you in order that you have to follow. Once you complete them, eventually you'll unlock the last memorial for Strider, which will give you the Winter Bite exotic glaive. Final warning, this exotic you can only unlock by completing every upgrade for your Strand subclass. Yes, you actually have to go and finish your Strand subclass. Pretty easy, just keep farming out kills with Strand on enemies. There are Strand nodes somewhere around a Neomuna. You go there, you just use your, your seeing beyond powers, and eventually you can just keep getting kills with Strand, keep picking up Strand meditations, and then bring all of them back and buy all of the upgrades, grenades, all the fragments, all the aspects, everything has to be completed for your specific class in order to unlock the quest line for final warning. Up next is Deterministic Chaos. At the end of the Lightfall campaign, you have to complete the Unfinished Business quest. This will give you the Deterministic Chaos upon completion. Dimensional Hypotrochoid, Iterative Loop, Philotactic Spiral, Volta Bracket, Round Robin, Circular Logic, Basso Ostinato, and Synchronic Roulette. All of these weapons can be unlocked from quest lines or from Neomuna activities. Basically just random drops. So. In order to do most of these, you're going to end up having quests like these. You go into your quest tab, and you'll have something like To Hero that give, it was given to you by Nimbus throughout your quest line of Lightfall's campaign. Once you complete the tasks, you'll see the potential rewards are guaranteed weapons. Well, it's basically for two weapons in particular so far that you can get guaranteed the Iterative Loop, and of course the Round Robin. But the rest of them, like I said, come from random drops. And that is how you complete the first triumph. The second one, Unfinished Business, is to complete the Unfinished Business quest line that I was talking about earlier that gives you the Deterministic Chaos Exotic Machine Gun. This one is unlocked from Nimbus at Strider's Gate in Neomuna after completing the Lightfall campaign. Obviously this goes heavily into spoiler territory and this guide is not about spoilers. So. This is all you have to do is just complete the Lightfall campaign, go here and complete the quest. Pretty easy if you follow all the steps. Restored and Remembered. Restore all the damaged memorials in the Hall of Heroes in Neo Muna. This one's pretty simple. It's basically another quest line that you're going to have to follow in the form of four different quests. Stargazer is the first one, Maelstrom is the second, Blue Jay is the third, and Strider is the fourth and final one, which also unlocks the Winter Bite Exotic Glaive. Overclocked. Complete a partition within seven minutes. Well, a lot of you are probably wondering, since it's brand new to the season, what is a partition? Well, you come over here to Neptune. You'll see down here at the Li Ming Harbor, 
there is this right here the partition hard reset it says it's part of a campaign and it is a part of a pinnacle gear basically you have to complete the nimbus weekly bounty in order to get a polymorphic shell code and once you do that you'll be high enough power hopefully at that time to enter the 1790 partition and yes you have to get a good enough team hopefully a good enough team in order to run this and finish within seven minutes. Now, a lot of you are probably wondering at this point of the quest, well, how do I get to the partition? How do I get this weekly bounty to get the polymorphic shell code? Well, it actually tells you when you go to Nimbus that the weekly bounty is locked because you have to complete the Lightfall campaign and all the way up to the Blue Jay quest for the memorials. Yes, it's a little bit hectic how much you have to do, but in order to get this guaranteed, that's how you do it. Up next is the Master of Survival. This is to complete any campaign mission on Master Difficulty. Now, for those of you who are going through the Legendary Campaign, a lot of you are probably like, well, wait, why did I not get this already if I've just beaten the campaign or a couple of missions on Legendary? Well, that's not Master, that's why. So you come over here to the weekly mission in Neomuna, and it says you can change it all the way up to Master Difficulty, which is eight. 1940. It's going to be a little bit of time before any of you Guardians will probably be able to hit this milestone. But when you get to that point, there is no matchmaking, so you're going to have to team up with some people. But once you complete that on Master, this part of the seal is finished. Up next is Honorary Cloud Strider. It's as simple as ranking up with Nimbus up to rank 14, which obviously... I mean, you're going to have this complete if you're trying to finish the seal because you need to get higher than rank 24 just to get all the stuff for Neomuni souvenirs. Terminal Treasures. At the end of the Terminal Overload activity, open Terminal Overload Chests. Terminal Overload Key Chests grant additional progress. Well, this is how you complete the Terminal Treasures. Basically, when you come over to Neomuna, there is a place called the Zephyr Concourse. And right next to that, there was a little node for me. It's probably not there for most of you. Oh, actually, here it is. Terminal Overload, AP. So there's two different ones that have a chance of activating. Zephyr Concourse or Ahimsa Park. So basically, you either load into Ahimsa Park or you click this little node here for the public event and launch it. And once it takes you there, you'll see in the background footage, this is what the Terminal Overload activity is. You most likely will have come across this during your playthrough of Lightfall and not known what this was and everything was way too powerful for you. Well, that's what it is. It's a public event activity that you just, you just launch in and you can just complete it and open chests. Now, in order to get a Terminal Overload key, there are two ways in order to do this either opening chests on Neomuno or completing patrols, or a terminal overload key could be granted whilst completing the overload activity itself. You could kill the final boss, get a key from the chest, and then be able to open the chest next to it with the overload key. Up next is the final strand. The final strand quest is from Puka Pond in the Hall of Heroes. The final strand is also the quest that unlocks the final warning exotic. Like I said earlier, this quest is only unlockable once you get every aspect, every fragment, and every grenade upgrade for the strand subclass. Now for those of you who are wondering, okay, well how do I get to the Puka Pond? That is up here at the Hall of Heroes, right here, is a meditative focal point. It's literally right next to the load-in zone. And finally for the Lightfall Seal. They're not dolls. Collect all of the unique action figures in Neo Muna and place them where they belong in Strider's Gate. So from Strider's Gate, what you want to do is come down here past the lift. And once you get all the way down to the bottom, take a right. That is the lift that you fall down at. You take a right and you go over to this big building here with the neon tree and walk inside this door. This is where you'll be placing all of these different action figures. The first one here, it says, Urkala Complex, atop the towering rampart, three stalwart defenders stand watch. From muzzle to target, ready, aim, fire. So this actually gives you a hint at where you can find the first action figure. And then you've got another one here at Ahimsa Park. At the center of Ahimsa Park, find an unexpected hideaway beneath the stairs. 
and at the current moment there are no others that are available within this first week so they're going to unlock similarly to Witch Queen where it's an overtime type of thing throughout the season. So by the time that they're all released you will be seeing another video from me with all of the action figures locations. So stay tuned for that and I will put it in the pinned comments of this video. But for now, here are the first two locations for the action figures. That's all for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. And if you liked the video, make sure to subscribe for more Seal Guide content in the future. And if you want to support me in the Epic Games Store, here's my supporter creator code. See you next time, everyone.